CFG Gamecast episode number 112, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode on Fridays and release it on podcast services like Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, Podbean, and so much more. So show us some love. Give us a follow, a like, a comment, what have you on any podcast service out there, or go to our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com, to not miss an episode. I am Mr. CFG Games himself, Davis Green, and with me today, I have three awesome co-hosts today. Uh, well, first off, we'll just we'll, uh, say hello to our guest today. We got Doc, one of the people from Critically Awkward, and he is a little critically awkward from us, <laughs> from uh, compared <laughs> to the most of us here too. So, so I guess it fits perfectly. So, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me, Davies. And oh, yeah. uh, also, um, you suck, Smitty, and <laughs> Hi Lex. <laughs> it's only natural. It's always natural that you always have to kind of put that in there. <laughs> but yes, some sort it, of me. I want everybody to know that it is actually me and that I'm not being held against my will. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. Well, I'm glad we finally got you on. I'm really hyped to uh, have to have some really cool conversations with you as always really fun and very opinionated when you're, when you're inside the chat. So welcome dude, as always. Uh, So uh, we, yeah. And we also got Lex in the second seat. What is going on? Lex, how are you doing? Uh, pretty good. I uh playing lots of games this week. I, you know, I like the de- the Dead by Daylight uh Halloween event they've got going on. I was digging into that. Uh, and uh, I I started playing Dark Deception this week. I don't mm-hmm. know what it is, but I really like that game. I also beat Poppy's Playtime a few times. Uh, that was fun. Um, and screw that fuzzy blue thing. He can kiss my butt. That's all I have to say. <laughs> That's funny. You know, it's funny. That game kind of came out of nowhere. I haven't, I like, I didn't hear yeah. anything about uh, about it at all. And then I, just like a lot of streamers were playing it. And, and, chapter like, hey. one, yeah. and I went, what the heck? Well, it's funny. My goddaughter had told me about it like the previous week. She goes, have you fought the blue thing with their er, teeth? And I said, no. Uh, what are you talking about? And we went through the list of like, you know, computer monsters None of them. And I jokingly said cookie monster. She says, kind of. And I was like, oh, so it's that kind of fuzzy. Uh, and it it popped up on my YouTube feed that someone else had played it. Uh, funny mm. enough, Mark Meyer was playing it. And I thought, you know, instead of watching the video, let me go see how much this is. And it was five bucks. So I said, screw it. And I played it. And it was worth every penny. I was sad that there there's no <laughs> chapter two yet. So I'll, <laughs> I'll be waiting for that. It was good. It was worth it. I- I'll be thinking about that game. <laughs> always thinking about the game that's good that's awesome that's cool but you know who is a uh just a giant scaredy cat for any of uh horror games that are out there in the spooky october oh i know his name is the five star general of the itty bitty smitty committee i got smitty in the third seat what's going on my dude chill him brother and and speaking of which i am enjoying the heck out of in sound mind we played more of it last night it's a lot of fun. I'm not. I'm no spoilers. Nothing like that. We are enjoying it. We're not too too deep. Uh, I don't think it's a very long game, but I'm just enjoying it. It's super trippy, and the scares aren't too crazy, but they're you know I mean definitely got my heart going. And then I've also been playing uh, Redacted. Uh, so, <laughs> but enjoying that. You'll hear more about that next week. Uh, but yeah, and then, and then of course I've got a Destiny raid tonight with Zuzu and friends, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, yeah, just been yeah. chilling, chilling. It's been, it's been. This was a pretty chill week. It was nice. That's good. At least you weren't like going crazy at work. I remember we, we've been pretty much overloaded with work for the past several couple of weeks. So yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just glad that we we're able to get this going. So oh, nice, yeah. nice deal. What about and, you, dude? Uh, Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I have been, um, you know, actually, I was actually, it wasn't as bad as what it's been or busy as much. So it was actually kind of cool. This week was kind of crazy, but uh, I went to go talk to the cast of uh, My Hero Academia two days ago, which was pretty cool. Uh, So did that uh, Uh, that whole interview thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. And, uh, but, uh, I've been playing, uh, Tales of Arise. I've been like Mm. trying to finish that. I wanted to finish that game up before I start, um, Guardians of the Galaxy is next week. So Guardians of the Galaxy is next week. And uh but yeah, yeah. so I have just been crunch timing it in RPG. And then when it comes in RPG mode, it's like I don't I just go ham 
Like I just need to hurry mm. up. The, I, like, cause like there's two rules in RPGs: level the hell up, and then just try to, and then basically try to be god in that game. Yeah. <laughs> so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And uh, the, with the Tales games, I've always been, I always love those kind of things. So, so I've been, uh, so I've been focusing on that. I think I'm, I think I'm close, but we'll see. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so but, uh, that was mostly based. That was basically, it was pretty a uh, simple week for me. I still need to figure out a scary game to play at least one scary game this week or this thing. You have to oh, yeah. like You're going to have to clear out some space on your hard drive too. Cause that guardian is a galaxy game is 150 gigs. Woo! 150 gigs. Yeah. Wow. It's no joke. No, wow. So, uh, yeah. Meaty. That is meaty. Do you know what's funny though? To me, it's like, uh, well, like, uh, I refuse to to get the expansion for the uh for the uh the, the stick uh for uh, M.2 over M.2 hard drive yet because uh. it's way too it's way too expensive because I like, like I want to get an M.2 I want to get a 2 terabyte. I'm not going to yeah, waste yeah. my time with another 1 terabyte. But nope. until un- until it reduces down in price and it's like okay, I'm just going to delete this I'm going to always have to do like a purge <laughs> for every Wait, time. Wait, how much is it? How much is it? A 200 a 2 terabyte about four, three, 350 to 400. dollars Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's too rich for my blood. Like, that's like too rich for like, my blood. Like, like, sell your just, blood; it's not that bad. That's true, a good point. true. See, ups and downs. See, sell your plasma, <laughs> kids. They go out there and sell some bone marrow or something if you need a new heart. <laughs> <drive>. <laughs> just crazy. the first time. The second time, it's less. It's always the second yeah, time. I'll you make do it. it. All I gotta do is 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 get rid of Call of Duty, and I've got like half my hard drive back. Wow. So. Oh my god! Dude. Oh, dude, these, these I don't even know why I still have it on there. I don't even play it, dude. Why do you? Have, like, yeah, I was gonna ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Just because oh I, I feel weird if I don't have it on there. I'm an idiot. Um, FOMO. Yeah, FOMO. That's yeah, what it yeah. Is. Basically, basically, don't even play it. But it's like, yeah, but maybe I will, and I don't want to have to go through it. But it's ridiculous. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm just Same. gonna get rid Sanders of it. Says, Kit Sanders says, though, nothing nothing annoys me more than RPGs where monster level scales. What's uh, what's the freaking point that I totally agree? Because like what the most annoying, you know, what the scariest <laughs> moments is like if you if you try to if you try to uh, uh, to level like like over level, then you can screw yourself sometimes because if it goes by the percentile uh, percentile. Uh, leveling, then your weapons don't keep up with you, but the but the but the uh, but the enemies can become stronger than your weapons that you're using, and then you can sometimes get stuck. I've experienced that a couple of times in certain RPGs, and I shall remain mm. nameless, but we'll see. <laughs> but mm. uh, yeah, so let's get let, well, let's get back on uh, on topic here. I know no one wants to talk about my RPG strategy, so we'll go through the normal rig and roll that we like to do each and every week. So uh, each of us picks a topic of discussion within video games from the previous week. The topic would or could be about a specific game or something that happened in the gaming industry itself, and uh, we don't want to talk about it amongst ourselves. We just want you, the listeners and the viewers of uh, on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook Live, to be a part of the conversation as always. So if there's something that you that you uh, that you hear or it's something that you wanted to chime in on by all means type it inside the chat we will love to discuss it with you and uh, we will go on from there so let's go with our guest here don with the tweety <laughs> with the birdies around the head there <laughs> so uh, oh man the, I like topic? it's right it's right right into it huh um yo yeah right <laughs> into things you have a good one, then. Uh, yeah. So, so go. yeah. So, I was going to talk about the 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 ups and downs of New World, um, Amazon's new Amazon Studios' new uh, MMO um, mm-hmm. that honestly had an amazingly smooth launch, really, really good um, mm-hmm. compared to a lot of stuff. But it's been going through some ups and downs over the last week. Um, one of the big ones has been, you know, a lot of overcrowding when the game lost, huge wait times. I'm sure anybody who played it is aware, you know. You're talking about hours, four or five, six hours trying to get in the server. Amazon promised uh, transfers, allowing people to transfer their characters from busy servers to, to less populated servers. Um, and then they uh, backed out of that. And then they got a lot of pressure from the community and they finally did it. Um, mm-hmm. They allowed uh, server transfers. And then uh, turns out some of those server transfers had an exploit in it that allowed players to dupe items in gold. So they've closed those back down. So who knows where the hell that <laughs> that's leading next because it's it's the news on that is flip flopped about ten times in the last hour. Or so um, we had server transfers. We don't have server transfers. We have server transfers. Um, yeah. So uh, other than that, there's a handful of other other crazy stuff that's been going on with it. 
Um, some players had figured out recently that if you play the game in windowed mode, you can be invincible in PVP, which is the, the big <laughs> thing. With If you're not aware of New World, uh, PVP is a major <laughs> focus of it's what it brings different to the table than a lot of other MMOs. Right. Um, at least it's what it's trying to bring to the table that's different. Um, so, yeah, just being able to play in windowed mode, making yourself invisible is a pretty big deal. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Did you say oh invisible God, or invincible? Invincible. Even worse oh, than okay. invisible. Yeah, that is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, could kill, I could kill an invisible person. I can't kill yeah. an invincible person. Yeah. That's why I was like, wait a second. I think he said invincible, not invisible. Yeah. No, that's nuts. I mean, Dust was day mm. one on this, and uh, he's enjoying it a lot. I have not played. I've watched a lot of my friends play. But that's. I mean, they had a really smooth, like, like right out the gate, they were they were they were smooth sailing for the most part. Usually, so. yeah. You, usually, rule of thumb is uh, MMOs are one of the hardest kind of games to kind of release, especially when it's a brand new MMO that comes out of nowhere, and mm-hmm. uh, uh, and then to, to to be released. And uh, yeah, I, I would definitely agree. I think it, it definitely had the smooth the smoothest uh, launch I have ever seen mm-hmm. for any MMO. I, to, I agree. Uh, I agree. Come out with you know. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, um, I've been able to squeak in a little bit of time here and there. I know Smitty's been able to play a little bit as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I, I enjoyed it quite a, quite a, a bit. Um, and I was very impressed as someone who was a day one WoW player and day one City of Heroes player and, you know, mm-hmm. a, a million other shitty MMOs in between that. Like, um, uh, what's that? Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, which was a yeah. hot, hot mess at launch. Um, mm-hmm. They did a great job. They did a really, really mm-hmm. good job with it. Um but with any game like like that, right? The once you get those million people running around breaking shit, you know, then then it's how well they're responding. I think Amazon's done a really good job so far. I'm actually trying. surprised because usually, like, I mean, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know your background, Doc, but I'm pretty sure you kind of like know like gaming in general, like you know, gaming background in general. But like, isn't MMOs like one of the most expensive kind of uh, <laughs> kind of game that uh, like a studio like it's actually uh, high risk. <laughs> and an incredibly expensive game to develop for well, like a brand new studio, isn't it? I, I think Amazon's in a, in a, in a particularly um, special place to kind of mitigate. I think some of the expense that a normal MMO would have, and that's on the server side, you know, mm-hmm. being to scale up your, 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 your server systems to, you know, basically having to pay for all those players. Amazon right. doesn't have to do that. They're like the largest server, you know, host in the yeah. world right yeah. so so they 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 have a special uh, like kind of a special like kind of ace in the in the hole if you will um so i don't i don't know um you know i could i could say this with the game i played this back in january or february um and the game was hyper repetitive and lacking a lot of content mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. um they definitely put in the time over the last year like over the last year, they, they've definitely put in work to try to make it less like stamped, like do just duplicated the same shit mm-hmm. over and over again. But it mm-hmm. still suffers from that. Like when you look at originality, like in MMOs, there's not a lot of originality in the quest design. You know, there's maybe four or five types of quests, and then it's just mixing up the names, writing some lore, and throwing them all over the world. Um, yeah. And so this definitely falls in that category, in my opinion. I like th- it's it's still that same cookie cutter shit. They've just created mm-hmm. enough systems that are fun to to play with. I think that that's, that's what you have to do in an MMO is you either got to be wow, where you got an army of writers and 20 years of lore, you know, and all these amazing Mm -hmm. artists, or you got to get in there and build systems that are fun. So that if the game itself isn't necessarily unique or original, you can still enjoy the little things. And I think that's what they did really well. So I don't think that this is necessarily like with your question, you know, more expensive or harder to make than another game. I think that when you're from someone, you know, in on the art side of things, at least, I think it's harder probably to make a game like cyberpunk where you're trying to make unique things all over the mm-hmm. place. So you're trying to like mm-hmm. drive a story and this, the players right there focused on that thing. Like you're trying to entertain them from every angle, you know, every step of the way where this is kind of like, if you just, if you just make shit to do and throw a bunch mm-hmm. of random ass weapons in the game, people are going to keep themselves busy. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like throwing kids on a playground, right? It's just like, you know, they'll, they'll figure out a way to have fun as long as the systems work. And that's what they did. They made systems that work and, and it's good. Um, well, and, sorry, go I was going to say to that point. Yeah. I very much feel like this is like 
your your this is MMO RPG for beginners. It's what it is. It it's got all the things that you're gonna need to do. And and and, and mind you, I don't have a lot of experience uh, with with that. The only the only other one I've played has been ESO, and I and I did I played that for a very short period of time. So I don't have a big. I guess knowledge base as far mm-hmm. as how they go and, and just diversity in different ones. But this very much feels like an easy, like I can, you know what I mean? Like it is just mindless stuff basically. And I know there's a ton of loot. There's a ton mm-hmm. of things I still haven't done. There are a ton of activities. So I think this is a perfect starter, you know, and I think they're going to be able to tap into a new audience and, and Amazon really needed this win. We know that they had crucible that came out that failed miserably, but, but again, I think, you know, when we've discussed this before that, that, you know, that was just them just being like, look, we just got to get something out there and they did it. And, you know, they had to pull it back and then they eventually said, we're, we're done with it. The real focus was this. This is going to be the one. And this is that, hey, we can get so many people. We can reach so many different audiences. Let's just have solid systems like Donk is saying. Fun gameplay. Uh, the loot's important, obviously, like you guys are saying in chat, Anthem. I mean, we could, we could, you know, <laughs> we we talked about kicking Shut dead horses. Mouth. I think it's unnecessary. We don't exactly. use that word around here. <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, they're hitting. They're Two hitting, years. There, I know. The- <laughs> They're <laughs> checking all the boxes with this game for a lot of people. So I love this and I want to see them be successful. I want to be able to see what their studio can do and what they can create. So I want this game to be successful. I'm enjoying it. I'm taking it at a very casual pace. I was kind of going hard at it for the first couple of weeks and then life got in the way. Uh, but I'm taking more of a casual approach to it and there's just so much to do but i i get it too that some of the stuff is is definitely monotonous run around do some things go back turn it in drop off my stuff because i'm over or i'm almost encumbered and then go back out and then do it again that's right. that that's the loop that's the loop you got do you well, know, I think even, me. go ahead david oh, i'm sorry, sorry. Oh, I was going to say, because like, I was just thinking about this though, too, because I was going to say that we kind of, I wanted to kind of stay away from, uh, about like, you know, talking about new world, uh, a little bit because like, it's kind of unfair to kind of go by the immediate reactions of a new world of day one because of yeah. how long it's going to take and how fast it's going to be. But I was just kind of wondering because now with the, uh, with the, uh, is this their, now was this their first patch update, their first serious patch update of the game or was no, this? No, I think they've, they've been really regular with it. That's what I was saying mm-hmm. earlier with Amazon is like, they, they have been like meticulous, like in the way that they've rolled this out. It's been really, really, mm-hmm. Um, like, I mean, really kind of, I mean, I, it hurts to say Amazon is doing good things cause we all love to hate them so much. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but they, they've been updating really regularly, um, patching out shit on the go. Um, you know, there's, there's obvious stuff that's bigger, right. That you can't just do overnight. But, um, yeah. it, for, for, for me, I've been, I've been really impressed with the way they've handled things. I'm really, really? impressed. And, and, and like I said, you know, like when, when you got 1200 people waiting to get into a server, Mm-hmm. that there's no major streamer on right like i play on mm-hmm. a non-streamer server and there's mm-hmm. 1200 people waiting waiting to get in like that shows you that they did something right i mean you know mm-hmm. that, that's not a normal thing to wait five hours to try to get into a video game you know a yeah. weekend to launch like we're not talking about day one we're talking about you know the next tuesday oh, there's yeah, still 1200 true. people waiting to get in so yeah. um, it, it's fun it's fun the grind is fun it, it doesn't feel overly monotonous they put a lot of like good crafting systems there's this really dynamic um system of like you know guilds owning towns right there's three factions mm-hmm. in the game factions can own towns and then they get taxes from those so whenever you're doing things in towns oh, yeah. your faction is getting buffed mm-hmm. um and then you can uh, you can attack those towns and go to war with them and try to take them back for yourself um, and in my server, it's just getting to the point where, um, g- like, like guilds are big enough to do that. And so we've seen mm-hmm. towns start flipping back and forth between ownership, which adds a really cool dynamic that no MMO to my knowledge has ever had, which is like the mm-hmm. world is actually controlled by the players and they yeah. benefit from having that control and that you can go out and if you organize yourself, um, you know, then you, then you, you can directly benefit by collaboration with other guilds and, you know, like, you know, this, this system, um, which leads to one of the other points that I bring up. And I know my time's probably running, running low here, but um, 
this also added a shitload of really hilarious drama if you don't give a shit if you just like to be oh, yeah. a person in the stands watching it because yeah. you get all this backstabbing and and bullshit <laughs> that, that you know there's plenty of articles out there you can read about it but like one of the funniest things for me right now is just all of the the drama because because player owned land is involved right player owned money mm-hmm. so it's just like the real world people just scumbags take the money and run go to go to the other team <laughs> like th- throw in wars because they don't like the dude running their guild and shit like that so there's <laughs> there's a lot of fun drama if you want to sit back and just pick flowers and watch everybody implode which is another fun thing. <laughs> uh, so fun. I can only imagine, oh my god i could literally only imagine the craziness that would ensue like you're going to have to be trusting other people with certain parts of the aspects i just feel like yeah it's gonna be a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of people screwing other people in this game but uh <laughs> yeah that that is that's freaking hilarious well i'm glad it's you're fun. enjoying it yeah, yeah. it's fun well, I, unfortunately i'm like i'm like smitty like i was able to play a little bit um like nights and weekends when it first came out first week or two but work mm-hmm. has gotten in the way and I haven't really been able to get back into it um, for a week, week, week and a half, maybe more. So I oh, look forward okay. to dip, dipping my toes back in. I think everybody I know is like level 60 now. So I'll just get all their hand. <laughs> I know, right. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, damn it, man. Like whatever, <laughs> whatever. Just give you whatever saying. you need. You know it. <laughs> what yeah. is he? You know what level he is? Oh, I don't know. Something at this ridiculous. Point. I'm sure. Probably. Cause I was like, like 31. When I first saw oh, Smitty, yeah, Smitty was like an tired. army. Yeah, Smitty was like an army of one when he first started. Because I like I saw him. He had like a magical cane. He had like a, a great <laughs> axe and a shield. And I like still freaking, running that dude. I mean, that was magic. He had, a, he, had a, he had a sparkle stick and a piece of wood. And I saw that dude running around in the middle of the forest. That dude was fighting. It was fighting bushes. <laughs> oh my god! It was. But that, you know, that's hilarious. one thing that I love about it. I, that's how I know it's good for me because I'm comfortable playing it by myself, or I can play it with people. You know what yeah. I mean? And yeah. I don't like it where there's some games I just feel like, ah, this didn't, you know what I mean? It's like, I can't really play this without having somebody to like, cause I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, so yeah, this is it's solid, dude. Like I, I, I'm excited to see, and this is just the beginning. There's so much. Yeah. There's so much stuff. Some data miners. And, yeah. Data miners yeah. pull some stuff out and like showed, like, I guess, I don't know the legitimacy behind it, but they pulled like, uh, the map, the whole map out. And it's mm. like it's at least double the size of the map we have right now. Mm-hmm. That's um, good to know. And, the, and, the, and the map is huge. The map in the game is huge. Like there's so many mm-hmm. different areas to go to. So to, to I still to haven't think, been to like three or four areas. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm yeah, the same way. No, I'm, probably I think like five I'm, or six, dude. I think I'm level forty or something like that. And I've and I've there's easily like five or six areas I haven't been to yet. Yeah. Yep. Wow, that is so crazy, dude. That is that's great. I'm glad. That, I'm glad that's definitely doing good. I just like. I mean, as for patches go, I mean, they're patches. It's always trial and error, especially for MMOs, because you'll know until until you get the patches live to be like, oh wow, <laughs> invincibility mode is now it's now it's now unlocked. They're gonna fix right. all that. It just yeah. So once it's tweaked, it's tweaked, and it's but it's there. But I guess people take advantage of it as long as you can, as you will get as much money as you possibly can until until you mm-hmm. can't until you start getting then, banned. Yeah, until you start getting banned or take that risk if you want to. Uh, is the ban hammer pretty strong on this game? I was, I'm not really sure. Yeah, um, I mean, sure. the gold duping stuff that they that they they said that they're gonna like either ban or roll back those accounts. So um, mm. they'll probably roll they'll probably roll people back initially. I'm guessing, like um, flag them or something. But they're doing a big wave of bans. They have a problem with like because any game with like a you know a auction auction house system mm-hmm. always yeah. has problems with gold farmers. Um, yes. So, so they they announced uh, yesterday, I believe, that they got some new system in place for people who are uh, like resource farming. Uh, um, and, uh, and they they said outright that those those are just going to be bans, like perma bans for people botting. So, wait, looking forward wait, to that. I don't do I, I don't know that I understand what that means. I don't think I know what that means. What you guys botting? are saying, you guys also. Oh, so, so, so well, within so they like, got they yeah. got they got just you know they make a bot like a little macro little program that. Plays the character for you, just goes around yeah. in a specific loop, just mining or <laughs> cooking, cooking flowers or fishing or whatever. And then that way, when you log in like six hours later, you know, he's already yeah. done all the work that a normal player would do. So then they can just turn that into gold and then sell it to the gold, pardon me, to like the whoever the gold farmers are. 
Yeah. Oh, so it's dang. the same shit that WoW had. You know, all the MMOs have. You know, just lots of bots going in and doing <laughs> shit, and then making money, and then that way, that's how they sell money to other players because it's it's yeah. it's not oh. lucrative to they actually sell money do it to yourself. other players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Currency, in-game currency. What? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what China was mostly was like big on for the longest of time in the MMOs for like the early right. early two thousands. Man, it's just like. Or I, that's why I didn't play Poe like on stream after the first couple times because like people were like DMing me like, oh I'll give yeah. you all this stuff for 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 uh, things and I Lex, said how many times not. do I have to apologize for that? Oh, yeah, I've okay. been DMing you. <laughs> You know, I stopped. <laughs> Glasswell, Glasswell says like gold gold sellers were up and running day one. Yeah, I'm not. Surprised. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It, it, crazy. Yeah. It, all the yeah, time, dude. there's so it, much it, there that I don't even understand. Dude, or know and about. MMO, that's always the underbelly. There's always going to be the group that's going to try to find a way to exploit to get the maximum amount of money to try to yeah, sell, sell back. It, to, selling to leveled people. accounts, selling leveled yeah. accounts, selling yeah. uh, gold. Um, yeah. What's, what's worse is when they hack your account to take everything that you have, and then your yep. your 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 account is now is now part of the bot hackers. Well, that's so, why I stopped well, using, that's that. Why, I stopped why would you even want to do that? Why would anybody want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now you added an uh, exclamation point at the end password. of it. Then it's a yeah. whole different yeah, story. Yeah, they'll never figure that one out, right? <laughs> <laughs> 69, 420 exclamation point. Don't at me. <laughs> Yeah, my my major issue with New World is that Smitty doesn't do Destiny Rage anymore because oh, he has called out. <laughs> I'm doing one tonight, Zuzi. We're raiding wow. tonight, baby. We're raiding tonight, like, baby. Come on now. Come that is on hate. now. I know. Pure, I've been I've, I've been sneaking in. I'm not caught up on the story yet. I am behind. But yeah, <laughs> it, it's gotten bad. I but I mean, really, that was more work than anything because I haven't played New World in like a week and a half either. So. It's you know, it's weeks. just like, yeah, oh, he's it's been just, there it is. Been there been it is. Your disappointment. Hey, there hey, you go. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Well, that's hey, a good, hey, hey, hey. that was a good topic. Uh, uh, so let's, uh, we'll definitely move on. Let's move on to uh, my topic. Uh, I'll be the next one. I don't think I put the order, but we'll just go. We'll just wing it. So uh, my topic is the freaking hilarity that is ensuing between two, like, big mammoths in their own industries and like one is like super corrupt like uh i will say yeah I'll call both them FIFA's, <laughs> fifa is super corrupt and then you got uh and then you also got uh, yeah then you got ea which we already have those tons of stories and everything about ea is so so like the the, the long story short ea announced last week that they were pl- they were thinking about changing the name of their biggest their most uh, uh successful franchise uh fifa um, so next, the, so technically it's FIFA 22 is the last year that we're going to be seeing, uh, we're going to be seeing it called FIFA. They're going to turn it into EAFC, which is means EA football club, whatever. So, uh, so now what they're going to do is that the, uh, so the, uh, so the, what this is going to allow them to do, uh, as well on the back end side is that they, that it's going to save them costs. From using FIFA's name, uh, uh, name on their games, which is the big one, uh, and God knows, like I'm, I'm assuming FIFA. To be honest with you, I think, like I think people really underestimate the amount of money that soccer players get, and uh, uh, like when you think of like a uh, like football, football is a drop in the bucket to how how expensive how big FIFA gives their gives their players some money. So like, mm-hmm. uh, so it is it is insanely huge on the amount of money that they that they put in on this. So uh, so FIFA. Uh, is uh uh so there were they when they announced this FIFA themselves came out this week and then they were saying they literally said to uh, that FIFA says it never liked EA anyways and they're <laughs> they're willing to see they're now seeing other publishers wow. to get their name out to other ones uh in it and I'm like thinking to myself dude FIFA has been an EA game since like ninety ninety four like it was like like it wasn't this isn't something that was like they announced though FIFA is gonna be uh, FIFA something like I remember playing FIFA games on the Super Nintendo back in the uh-huh. day. <laughs> yeah, and so like I was like, so they say they never liked, <laughs> they never liked their their brand. Is it because that they're trying to drop it or whatever? So uh, so because of this now, uh, there's a bidding war. Um, uh, uh, now because now since FIFA is being dropped by EA, 
other companies are planning on trying to see like they're trying they're they're now trying to see the test the waters to see what's out there really to be honest with you there's maybe uh if they and i don't even know if they still make it there's a game called winning 11 that happened on the that happened with konami a long time ago which used to be known to be the best the best soccer game but like mm-hmm. i mean but it is very very bleak but they may they may just start a new company from scratch on this so <laughs> dangerous voice calls it they co- they're going to call it soccer game 2023 <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah so i was just finding it funny because it's like it just feels like these two conglomerates like one of them is like oh we're going to change our name to so and so the other one's like oh fine well we don't like you anymore anyways or we never liked you uh because we're gonna take our name and move somewhere else we're gonna make a better soccer game than you ever will uh fifa uh, uh, and stuff so i was just kind of wondering like uh, <laughs> when you see this like it, it like you just can't help but laugh i mean i'm just so like heavy. i was i was just uh i was just like surprised that they did not care about like the uh like that this is going to be a big thing but the big thing is i guess like should they even be worried like is fifa like should ea do you think ea is going to uh, uh since they're going to try to change the name to something completely new, completely different to something that they've been like established on for over 30 years. Like if they should even, is this going to open up new competition to possibly a future to a different company? Maybe, I don't know, like Sega's NBA 2K series or something. Who knows, you know? So what what, what did y'all think? Well, my, my feeling on it is that like for the, in the, in the mid early to mid two thousands, winning 11 was by and far the most popular soccer game out there. But like, yeah, like uh, maybe not in North America, but um, in South America and Europe, winning 11 was huge, um, you mm-hmm. know, and then they had the rights to um, a lot of those teams, like especially world world cup teams, right. And that's not necessarily the, the um, FIFA mm-hmm. stuff, but you had, you could play with all your, your favorite players and all that stuff. And, and it was a better game in my opinion, mm-hmm. than what um, I played a lot of winning 11 and then later FIFA. Um, yeah. I remember, I remember playing winning 11 too. in the, like uh, in the two thousands too. And I was like, wow, this is, like, game is actually better. I just don't know if they still exist since, you know, Konami downsized drastically. Well, that was, was, I'm saying is like, but with, with uh, what FIFA statement was, is it, uh, they, they, their statement after all this shit started was uh, we think it's a good idea to allow lots of publishers access to what we do. Like they weren't mm-hmm. saying we were going to shop this out. Like in their statement, they weren't, we're going to shop this out to another studio. They were like, you know, basically fuck EA. We're going to bring other people into it. Like, yeah. like, like, yeah. it, like anybody who wants to, anybody who wants to work with us, bring it, talk to us because we're, we don't think that, you know, it's, it's worth sitting here with EA and just being the only. That exclusivity. Only yeah. It's like, why well, not? Also, open it up? And that's more money for them too. Going well, to be yeah. in their pockets. Yeah, people were also saying what they were also wanting to do is that they were wanting the brand to go esport as well. So like, oh uh, yeah, uh, I'm surprised yeah, it's so, not. So I don't it, know yeah. how it's not, dude. There is a huge base for for FIFA. Like, and and you gotta understand, dude. Like, they're spending real money. Like, I feel like FIFA soccer is one of the huge proponents in getting people to pay for packs. It's a huge uh, 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 pay to pay to win. I feel, mm. in, in my opinion, that's why I haven't yeah. touched it, and and I I can't stand that stuff. And I'm wondering too. I think this could be an opportunity then, based off of whose whose decision it was to make it that way. So if FIFA goes, they they shop it out to other people. We can get, then be getting high quality stuff <laughs> without having to do the pay to win, because that's the only thing that keeps me personally away from even playing it. Because mm. I ain't, I'm not about that, dude. What's the point? What's the point, dude? I'm not going to throw ducats at you like that, that heavy. Well, but at the same yeah. time, I also play Destiny. So, a lot so, of money at so, 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 Smitty, <laughs> like, I, I will say um, that if you think that the pay to win shit's going to go away when FIFA shifts over to a different dev, you, mm-hmm. sir, I would like to sell you some swamp land in Texas <laughs> <laughs> um, or Florida, even better. Um, yeah, be- even better. But, um, <laughs> and NFT, but, NFT swamp land. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I don't think that's going to go away. I think that it's just going to be a different form of that. Um, mm-hmm. And then the esports comment, which I do agree with both of you guys, right? Like that, like it's it's weird that that isn't a thing. But when you look mm-hmm. at it holistically, if you're going competitive with FIFA, right? Like FIFA, FIFA is a fun game to play. It's a pretty mm-hmm. pretty boring game to watch. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. and when you look at stuff like Madden and those those games are very popular with the players, but they're not very popular in the esports world. 
Right. They don't get they don't get the kind of numbers that you get out of first person shooters or you know even StarCraft like a hundred years after StarCraft was released. So I think the biggest problem <laughs> that you have with uh, um, with these games that mimic real world sports is a lot of times they're just not as fun to watch as the real sport. So why watch? the video game version, you know, like the fantasy stuff makes sense. Rocket league, overwatch, mm. call of duty, all that makes sense. Counter-strike. Um, I, I just don't know that in e-sport, I mean, maybe the I'm wrong. Of it. No, but no, well, uh, you, well, you do have a thing, point. Though, and I think that it, cause this is trending here is that betting, if they can allow, if, if they're, if betting and betting is cat- catching on more and more, especially in the e-sports sector, People would absolutely, if you've got games that you can bet on, you are going to build a huge audience. So I feel like they are missing opportunities if they are not talking with people in that sector and getting that thing shanked or sanctioned and stuff like that. I mean, we even saw here in Vegas that when we went into the pandemic, they all of a sudden emergency approved betting on esports because normal sports wasn't happening. Sure. But people, you know what I mean? So like, it's like, I think there's a huge opportunity there for them to go that route. And, 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 and I think people would absolutely, you're going to have a ton of numbers. I mean, you have uh, uh sports betting in general, right? Just normal sports mm-hmm. betting. It's getting, it's getting legalized in more and more places in the States. And then you throw in freaking mm-hmm. esports and allow to, to bet on esports. People are going to bet on it. And oh, uh, I, I absolutely agree. Easy. I absolutely agree with you. I just don't know that. If there, it's there, if, if, it's if, that, if there. that's the one that everybody's going to be following, I guess is my mm. thing, right? Like I may yeah. be wrong, mm. um, and and it might be it might get a major following, and people might get super hyped up about the world's best FIFA players playing soccer. But you know, mm. I don't know. For me personally, I don't get hyped up about eleven AI or ten AI running around on a field with a dude controlling you know one player switching back and forth. Like, but that's you know, I don't think play, wait, AI. Unless you can play, unless you can play, no, 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 it wouldn't be eleven. AI. 11. You, no, think I mean, you think you're playing on 11, 11 FIFA matches? <laughs> yeah. So you think, so you think mean, that, bro, I think these that, teams that, are gonna these teams are gonna post twenty two person rosters so that they can put it on the game. I'm on, I'm on board. I'm on board. If that's what you're talking about, yeah, let's go. Let's go. If they do that, that would be amazing to see. I would absolutely throw ducats at that. I don't I don't think that they I don't I think the highest that they could actually have is I think was six to eight players at the same time. Oh, dude, like I want to see that, that drama unfold where like the FIFA would be team crazy. one guy trips and chokes himself out over eleven chaos. controller cords in the middle of the living room. <laughs> 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 we gotta replay this match. <laughs> replay this match. Sven that chokes himself out and dies in the middle of it. <laughs> oh my god, that would be crazy if they did if they, if they had it to that kind of sophistication. But like overall, though, I think like uh. I think it, uh, it uh, maybe not in an esports way, uh, theoretically, but I mean that's what that's what FIFA was saying in the, in the inside their statements of what they were wanting to do or the, what they saw sure. in the video game side of their name. Well, I want to be like, skinny uh, and still eat ice cream every meal, but that doesn't mean that it's going to happen, right? <laughs> I think it will. Don't but, we're on the same page here, babe. Same but page. at the same time, though, like I, see I mean, you, Lex. What's, what makes these games more popular, I would say, would be more like attorney level like you know how matt like you're saying madden is a terrible would be a terrible esport because most people wouldn't want to sit down and watch a man a, a man game because it's boring if, uh, overall boring but yeah. i think if you go if you if you do like a one and done like you know how they usually do the ea championship series game let's like say for the for the uh, for the thing like, so you have you dedicate yourself one day to have a, a a collective pot then i think that might i think that's what makes it more interesting uh, theoretically, you know, yeah, so, attorneys, know. attorneys would be great, like a World Cup, World Cup of video games, you know, like where you have yeah. a a week of people just playing each other once a year or twice a year. Yeah, I can see that mm. happening, but but yeah. I'm thinking like esports, like you know these no. these these long leagues that last like you know weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Like I just don't see yeah. the viewership. I, I I just can't see watching esports fucking- struggles in general, dude. Yeah, it's yeah. Not see the fact that they have not been cares. able to do live events, and I'm speaking yeah. aside from like uh, 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 League of Legends because they they usually pull solid numbers, but like Dota, if you look at yeah. even yeah yeah and, and those, but like if you look at the Overwatch League, if you look at uh, um, uh, uh, whatever the Call of Duty one was, like. I feel like there was barely anything behind it. Like it was just weird. It was just well, Overwatch, Overwatch was already bleeding already because uh, since, oh, it was, on, since they moved so since they many... moved it to YouTube, since they moved yeah. it to YouTube. So even on yeah. that, and on top of that, but you they're know, just like, now catching up to where like you can get like 
currency or, or, or things from watching the streams. That was not a day one when they moved to YouTube. They severely hurt that, themselves yeah. making that That was movie. three years ago, man. That was like, that's when they, when they did that. It was three years ago. And I think was it three was, yeah, years ago. Yeah. It came on. It was a, a, 2018 when they got the, when they did that deal. So like, it's pretty insane. so who knows? Well, I mean, man, they like, must've gotten a lot of upfront money as far as with that. And, oh, no. and obviously, cause they had to have realized, you oh, know, YouTube not only that, did. but you didn't have back end stuff as far as things in place on launch. It took a whole year after the launch for that, YouTube's, or maybe even a couple of years before you again were able to for watching the viewers were rewarded. That in itself mm. was an incentive of anything, just to have it up on alert to get them coins or to get the skins or or whatever. So not having that, there was even less of an incentive to go to a platform that I don't typically use uh, right. to watch it. I was just like meh, and you like know- I, I say that in the esports world. Sorry, real quick, I say that in the esports world, like. There, these are these are a lot of young kids, and they have no like. I feel like there's a lack of training in you know just being in in front of the media and and you know doing things like that to build those stories, build these characters, so that mm-hmm. people care to do that. I feel that there's a lot more that can go in on that side as far as training, working with people, building those stories on a production side of things. And and it, it's that's why it's hard, and I feel like that's why esports in general struggles to to really get there really? to a level that I feel that eventually it'll it'll probably get there. Well, we'll see. We'll definitely see. I'm Lex. sorry. What were we gonna say, Lex? Before I let you, before no, it I, you know, it's interesting. I didn't realize. Like, first off, when I uh, my first waitressing job, like my first big one, uh, like a like a big company. Uh, I had no idea like how huge soccer was in the States in general until the world cup. And I was the only server slash bartender that day for my entire restaurant. And I had a line outside the freaking building. Uh, and my, my GM was trying to like help take orders. We ran out of beer. We ran out of glasses. It was Ooh. insane. The FIFA sells a lot of games. It's funny that <laughs> we didn't like EA anyway. Like <laughs> they're just getting mad. Uh, it's like, well, you know, I, I, it, it's just funny. I, yeah. But soccer is a really big deal, and I, it it's a big deal in the gaming world. It's a big deal outside of it. And I think, you know, if if, if FIFA's not looking at, like, their other, like, what opportunities this now opens up for them, like, they'd be silly. You know what I mean? And I think EA is the one that's kind of, they're the, I feel like they're going to be the ones that probably get screwed okay. over on this one. I mean, they'll be fine. They'll, they'll, be, okay. they'll be fine, but yeah. it's definitely... Their loss to lose that exclusivity because that's a deal for them. I just found it amazing because, like, FIFA is one of those kind of was one of those deals with 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 EA that was like that was way before any of this like oh, before yeah. ea signing with uh, ea doing an agreement with the nfl so basically the nfl can't do 2k anymore you know with uh sega mm-hmm. games back in the days and stuff like nba all none of that signing and stuff like this is like one of the in, the beginning signings of their sports line i i think overall mm-hmm. before they started getting serious with it and then they're cutting out now then they just said just this year they're like we're gonna just call it eafc 22 so what they're basically saying is that they're saying that we don't we 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 could be good without having the FIFA name to sell this yeah. thing because our technology is good enough to be like okay the name doesn't sell itself anymore it, right. but it, it's more our our, our, our stuff uh, of like our technology will and let FIFA go and now FIFA is like saying okay well I'm taking my toys away let's see what else what's let's see what's out let's see what's out there see if we can make it bigger to give a giant fu to EA you know yeah I think you're right about you're right about you know, both of them, but I think it's on both sides, right? Like yeah. FIFA stands to make a lot of money by branding to a lot of other people, mm-hmm. right? By get by giving other companies the ability to make games and maybe not even realistic soccer games, you know, football games, you know, cartoony shit, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, whatever it is like that they, by, by, by breaking exclusivity with EA, they, they have a lot to gain. Right. Oh, and no, and yeah. EA's right. And EA's right. EA's been mm-hmm. making FIFA since 1997. Yeah. You know, there was another game company Easy. that I'm assuming EA purchased that did it for like the first three years or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. And then they've been doing it since 1997. At this point, they're not going to lose their player base. So both sides are right because you have Winning Eleven was a great game and it didn't need the FIFA name to succeed. Right. So mm-hmm. EA, EA, there's a test case right there that says we got the tech, we got the you know, we got the user base, we got everything. Who gives a shit if it's called FIFA? Honestly, mm-hmm. um, right. you know, and FIFA's going well. 
the, we're a world re- world world renowned brand. Everybody knows who we are. So all these other companies who want a little bit of the share, want to get some notoriety, like they they benefit hugely from hopping on that. So honestly, I don't think it's necessarily a bad deal for either one of the companies because EA is not going to lose their fan base. Right. Um, right. Unless, because unless somebody else comes along and makes a really good soccer game, which I'm all for, right? The competition is great, but let's be honest: like you can hate on EA all you want, but they've got the money to employ really talented people to make really good games. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so cool. you're not going to walk away from that. It doesn't matter. They could change the name of Call of Duty and just call it like Shooty Shooty Fun Fun, and like people would stay with it. <laughs> if, if, if it went somewhere else, they'd stick with it because you, you know <laughs> that they're going to be putting out a solid <laughs> product, right? <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna see like uh, you know, watch like like next year we'll see FIFA FIFA Pachinko or something. Oh no, <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> it knows it's going to happen. All right, so we actually have only have time for one more topic. So uh, basically, uh, let's mini go. It's totally. I okay. go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's. No, I, I was go ahead. Go, no, I was going to choose. I was going to oh, choose you Lex. Choosing. Oh really? Yeah, was, okay. Yeah, y'all knew yeah. this was going to happen by inviting me on the show, yeah. right? We were That's all right. That's time, okay. Like That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> well. Yeah. Uh, you know what's funny? Okay. I, I don't know if I should be a little insulted. You're like, oh, really? <laughs> like, why would you think I'm <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like Davis just wants me to shout out. It's like, no. No, that's fine. <laughs> uh, so uh, it, it's kind of like an update slash, is it? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I found it update. really interesting. It, it's an update uh, for something that we've obviously been, you know, watching watching unfold uh so the activision blizzard wants california lawsuit paused due to alleged ethics violation uh here's the kicker though is both sides want to pause uh for ethics violation uh but basically and i'm going to read it verbatim so that my words don't get twisted uh, a federal agency has accused the state agency suing activision blizzard of breaching professional conduct rules Activision Blizzard has filed a motion to temporarily halt proceedings in the lawsuit filed against it in July by the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing. I will refer to it from here on out as the (laughs) DFEH. The publisher wants a timeout to collect evidence in relation to a surprising allegation against the DFEH that could give the company an advantage with the case proceedings. Uh, The allegation made last week doesn't primarily have to do with the content of the DFEH lawsuit, which claims that Activision Blizzard has for years harbored a culture of sexism and harassment. Rather, it has to do with the lawyers who filed the suit. So according to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, a U.S. federal agency uh, that recently proposed a settlement with Activision Blizzard over similar claims, the DFEH lawyers behind California's suit used to work for them and Mm. actually investigated Activision Blizzard on the federal level before taking up the case in California where they objected to the EEOC's settlement terms. The article... Yeah, so it goes into more detail about why the agencies are in conflict, but in short, you're not you're not allowed to do that. So if you were working on a case previously, uh, with regardless of what company it was for, if you were investigating for even if it was for the same thing with a different with a different um, agency, you you cannot be then the one to then proceed as far as like being the lawyer on the case. Uh, but it's interesting because Activision Blizzard. And then there's there's a whole other end of it where it's basically both are saying that mm-hmm. there's it's it's complex uh, and that's the irony of it all. Um, aside from DFEH ethics violation, Activision alleges that the California Bureau has made other errors which complicate the case, including destroying information. The DFEH has also accused Activision Blizzard of destroying information uh, and has likewise requested that the case be designated as complex uh, from here on out. So it's interesting. Mm. Um, they're both kind of pointing fingers at each other right now. Bad finger <laughs> puns on both sides. It's um, a Spider-Man meme. Basically, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> who's going to shoot first? Um, but basically, yeah, they're they're alleging that the lawyers for the lawsuit already had previously investigated them. And so because of that, like there's an ethics violation and they're not wrong. Um, I just hope that that doesn't screw up the proceedings. Mm-hmm. Uh, later on down the line, because I do not want them getting away with anything. I don't want to get them to getting away with jack shit. Pardon my language, well, but I, you know, like I, I'm kind of. Go ahead. 
No, oh, well, I'm just saying, like, overall, it kind of sucks because, like, uh, 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 my biggest issue is this, is that, like, I mean, the, like, Activision is in a place because, I mean, Activision is just too, is a big company, strong, big, powerful company for gaming and stuff. Yeah. Like, uh, I feel that, like, like with something like this, like with a loophole like this, they're going to definitely try to expose, like, put all their pressure to expose, uh, to expose it to, to, to see if they can, like, throw this thing out. Yeah. But at the same time, though, I'm pretty, there has to be, I mean, like, to say that it's one person that, that, that's doing the steady charge of this from the DFEH, especially from this, yeah. I, I, I don't think that's, I don't think that's a thing. Like, I like, is it really that hard for them to just say, okay, so the guy who put the case on this person or uh, from this, from this conglomerate was, uh, was also worked at that conglomerate. How much, how hard is it for them to recuse himself from that? And then, right. uh, the, and then after that, at the same time, have someone else do this investigation. Oh, it's super I mean, simple. I don't, but- I, well, that's, I, that's, exactly that's what I'm worried it. about. But, but you're exactly right. Like it's the, it's a criminal proceeding. Like, you know, like, like what they're yeah. dealing with right now, like. It does. If, if if the current case is bullshit, it doesn't mean that the that the charges go away, right? Right. It just means that the people involved can't be involved. So it might delay it by years. Who knows? Yeah, that's what's right. Nice. But but so it's it's unfortunate to the victims of all of this stuff and and you know the justice that that anyone who who was was you know victim to this stuff deserves. Right. But it's um, yeah, it's not going away. It's like it's you know. There's also they're mm-hmm. also now because of all of this, and I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like I've really heard anyone else talk about it. Um, <clears throat> U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission is uh, now basically so it, they're also being investigated by U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission over its hand handling of July's allegations. So, like, they're they're going to be in the weeds here pretty soon anyways, regardless if, you know, they have to, you know, drop that one, that one lawyer. I mean, it, mm-hmm. it's a team of lawyers anyways, regardless um, if that one lawyer has to go away, fine. So be it. Um, but I think it's funny that they're alleging that they're destroying information. Why would they destroy information? That's only going to help their case, but uh, you know, it is what it is, but I just, I feel for the victims and it sucks and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, they're going to get, they're going to get their day in court eventually. It's just probably going to take longer. So that's what kind of stinks about it. That is just, uh, on, I mean, it's just like, it's just, this case is just getting weirder and weirder on both sides on this. It's like, uh, first off, I've already, already, y'all have already, I've, it's been pretty well documented that I really don't see how Bobby Kotick has a job. I mean, personally, in my opinion, from, uh, with Activision, it doesn't make sense to me. But he like, doesn't, he this, doesn't, does he? No, he's still he's still the freaking CEO. He's sure still there. Right. He's top brass. Yeah, he's still he's still there. He didn't step down. He's been trying to get like their strategy of throughout this whole thing. Uh, uh, this whole thing, Donk was trying to slow the slow the bleeding by getting rid of the upper echelon of Blizzard. Like the CEO of Blizzard, yep. uh, the CEO of Blizzard, who was only there for two years. Uh, uh, bounce. Then you yes. got the director. Then you got the CFO. Then you had the COO. All those people are gone now. Right. And those people weren't like, uh, and those people weren't like the original people. There were some people that were there when the initial accusations were happening, uh, but those people were either let go or they or they they down. stepped down too right. on their own. But but for Activision mm-hmm. side, the shit has been done. Kotick yeah. is still there, dude. Like it's like it's and I'm and I don't understand how like how they could just be uh how how he could just be on this high castle on this gigantic branch because it's called it's not called Activision, it's called Activision Blizzard that uh right. that you basically gutted a like a freaking like you know like a historical company to be a shell of what it once was and like and i don't understand and but i don't understand how this cool. man has a job has a, has a job still it and does it's not make any that, sense that donk didn't even realize that and i'll tell you why because fran townsend their their vp um she's the vp of corporate um da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. oh what's it we'll call it she's Poopy. the <laughs> yeah, basically. She uh she's the one that they've kind of like pushed forward as far as like the one that's like reaching out to um the employees, uh reaching out to, you know, people that are writing um 
uh, in the news articles, uh, she's the one that you'll see her name because he's trying <laughs> to like stay out of the limelight essentially. Uh, but that poor woman, like, I don't understand how she's not ready to just leave on her, on her end either. But well, I mean, Yo, it's, you know, who's falling Lizard on has the a sword? long, a long and history duckets. of <laughs> yeah. Yeah. a long who's history. Falling on the sword, throw a woman out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is just more yeah. of the same. Like, but it's but my, my thing was is that my ignorance ahead, was 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 related to him being subpoenaed in the court mm-hmm. case. So I had oh, mixed yeah. up the 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 like because he had been kept out of that court case for a while, and when he got suspe- subpoenaed, subpoenaed. Yeah. When he got subpoenas, <laughs> um, I thought that uh, for whatever reason I, I I mixed that up with him. Although, resigning. although then again, though too, okay. yeah. When 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 Activision was getting more into the blame of all of this, you remember earlier? I think it was like last month. Do you remember how fast that they were trying to settle out? Like like it was oh, like eighteen. So it was, oh yeah, it was like eighteen yeah. million dollars, like towards uh, towards all of this. So like, uh, here take uh, take it, but, please, please. Yeah, it would, makes it even weirder to me. And like now it's like okay, cool. So we're still doing this investigation with all this that's happening and everything, but now. It's like now we're pointing the finger at the people that are pointing to the finger at the uh, people uh, 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 that the started finger. all of it. It's like it's so it's so crazy how like that that's what you're, that's where we're at right now. It's so no, it's not. It's not crazy. This is exactly what's been. Here's my thing, dude, and this is where I feel that the Me Too movement pushed a lot of this stuff up up to the surface. This has been stuff that's been going on for a while. People and and women and and other other just excuse me POCs have talked about this stuff, but it's never really you know it never really took hold. I feel like and until that started, and and that's just I mean it's in so many big companies. It was not surprising at all, and seeing some of those inner workings of some of that stuff, it does not surprise me whatsoever. To see that, but to the level that they had it at, I couldn't imagine working in a place that they were doing crazy shit like that. Couldn't no. imagine it. I'm like, I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> so you know, but but I I feel like too, and and this is where this especially you know it's 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 hurtful for the video game community, but I think you'd be a fool not to be able to recognize that this is not a surprising thing, and that it just within that. Can you imagine that being your work culture? You have to go to work to make money to, you know, so you can do your things. And that is just what you have to do. Mm-hmm. It, I, I, it, it's hard to even imagine. But to this level to where you're even talking to HR and HR just like, meh, whatever. whatever. Mm-hmm. This is, yeah. you know, this is, it is, it is rooted deeply within this company. And the fact, like you're saying, that Activision, like, I feel like a lot of this has been, been the focus, the spotlight's been a lot on Blizzard. But it's like, mm-hmm. look, Activision, come on now. You can't tell come me you didn't know down. some shit about this, too. Oh, and what's going to. on over there? You they know what I mean? To. Yeah. Yeah. No, the it, Ubisoft shift, the other shit, like, get them. Get them. Yeah. And, they, and they need to, this needs to be an example. This needs to be an example that this is not going to be tolerated. People don't want this. It's not, you know, it's not right, especially within this sector. As it becomes more popular, as the spotlight gets brighter and brighter on on the video game sector, and people are starting to say, "Wait a second, there's a ton of money be made here." Right. Mm-hmm. You're gonna. It's gonna happen. I'm telling you. This is the scary part. Rules, cool. regulations. I'm telling you, they're coming because there's too much money going on and and grifters and this and that to where eventually they're gonna say, "Hold up." We're not getting our piece of the pie. Right. We're not getting our piece of the pie. And and that is, you know, I feel like this is just those beginning steps to getting to a point where where I think it's inevitability for yeah. how big it's become. I just my I guess my gen my my concern for here on out is if it does get paused, the amount of offers that they're going to have out there for the victims um, mm. is going to be a lot. They're going to offer the victims who are probably in the process of, you know, uh, retelling their story in court um, and trying to get them to essentially shut the fuck up. Here's money. Go Mm -hmm. away um, Mm -hmm. to, you know, not have them speak in court, which look like that's your choice to take it or not. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, and it, 
it, it sucks. Like you don't want to relive it every day, you know, mm-hmm. and, and the longer it takes, the more frustrating it is. Uh, so, you know, I can only imagine and like wh- whatever they choose, they choose like that's them, like more power to you on either end. It just, it just sucks. Like uh, I've, I've lived it unfortunately and in talking about it's hard and I can't imagine what those Part. And it wasn't just women like it, it was, you know, it was the whole culture and it was men, too. And it sucks mm-hmm. like that absolutely sucks. And it, it, it's it, you know what? It started I mean, out that was high school shit. Right. This guy's my friend and we're buddies. Like, like, and like, this is work. Somebody right, did that to me. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? We're just around, <laughs> and then all of a sudden those jokes turn more serious and more serious. And before you realize that you've slid down this slope and you're like, how the hell did I end up here in the first place? Like right. I, I let a joke slide one or two times. And like, now I'm getting groped under my desk because they're doing a, a drunk pub crawl while I'm trying to get my job yeah. done. Get the F out of here. Uh, uh-uh. uh, you know? And I <laughs> yeah. think, I think, and people who, who are going to forget about this, unfortunately, like that's where the issue is going to lie is, is people will forget. And they can't, when you forget, no, that's why they have to, oh, yeah. that's why they have to, this, this is the state. I don't think there is no forgetting. I don't know. I, I hope not that Be there surprised. is no forgetting. This needs to be an example yeah. is what it needs to mm-hmm. be. It needs to be example. Times are changing and you either, either, you know what I mean? You should be scared if you are doing tactics and in your environment is like right. this. Mm. Plain yeah. and simple. Otherwise, there's no stopping anybody. People have, there. there's no reason to change. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. They got caught. They slipped up. Whatever. Yeah, well, I think the unfortunate, the unfortunate thing about this, this kind of stuff, right, is that like Lex is dead right and you're dead right. Like they have to be held accountable for it. Like the settlements, the victims, all of that is is important stuff. That's it, but it's individual, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. The bigger, more important point is that, like, across the industry and in all industries, not just the gaming industry, that people realize that like that kind of shit, you get held accountable for it. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Because right. what we don't right. want to see is the here's twenty million dollars. Everything our company makes four point eight billion a year, so it doesn't mean shit to us. Just get out of our faces, right? They right. got to be smeared. They got to make changes um, to, to this whole thing so that there's less of this happening. Cause we're, we're all naive. If we say it's not going to, it's going to, it's going to change. Right. Right. That's, right. That's the unfortunate part I of agree. it. There's shitty people out there, mm-hmm. but hopefully right. this takes the people in the middle who are e- easily assimilated into those shitty cultures and gets them to say something. It hopefully it could, the victims of this stuff, it gives them an opportunity to stand up and, and feel more comfortable saying this isn't okay because there's always going to be shitty people in positions of power doing shitty stuff because they feel like they're above the rest of the people out there and they can get away with it. Absolutely. Right. That's yeah. the way of actually describing it big time, definitely. So, well, and I did want to <sighs> super quick. Kit said people have already forgot. We have people here talking about playing Call of Duty tonight. Yeah. No, I mean, I understand where that, where that thought process is coming from, but there are still people that are female uh, who, you know, unfortunately got harassed that are still working at that company and you can't really take away from that either. So it's kind of hard to say like, do you play or don't you play? That's, that's up to each individual um, mm. because, you know, there are still people that work there that went through a horrible scenario that are trying to ride out this wave to be in a better work environment who did put that time and work in, you know, and mm. do we take that away from them too? You know, it, it's like, it, it's a double-edged sword no matter what. And I think and that's it's... kind of like a good way to put it. Well, I think kind yeah. of not necessarily <laughs> inadvertently, but like, I mean, you guys know, and Overwatch is one of my favorite games. I haven't played it Game. in months since this has started. And I it wasn't garbage. even a direct, like, <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't even like a direct thing. I just have had no desire yeah. to play it. This definitely helps to be like, look, dude, I want to see how this plays out. Or is this right. gonna just be some bullshit or whatever? But I can't but like even 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 beyond that for me, for someone that enjoys the game, it's just I'm not excited about it because of that. And I love that game. I love the play of it. I love being able, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's something like it was the first time I had ever experienced a game like that. And I love it. And I can't get enough of it, you know, but at the same time, like I haven't played it. And again, it hasn't just been because this is happening. It's just also because this is happening. 
Right. But I just have no desire. I am I'm no longer excited about it. And this just yeah. amplifies. It's just like, whoa, man, like there's crazy shit going on. But I think you make a good point, Lex, as far as there's a lot of hardworking people that had nothing to do with right. any of this stuff. And and you know, I, I don't feel that people that they should be punished for other people's you know, transgressions. Thank you. No, absolutely. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Uh, it's trans, I think other people's transmissions is what you were trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> don't give them the herp. <laughs> good topic, uh, Lex. Let's, uh, Thanks, yeah, man. so that's we'll good. So, so uh, Lex, yeah. what, do, what do you have planned for the week? Uh, Playing some Dark Deception, getting down on some DBD, and about to go cook for the hungry nine-year-old that's downstairs. Probably wondering where I've been. <laughs> yes. How about you, Smitty? What you up to? Uh, I've got Destiny Raids tonight. I'm going to go <laughs> use the bathroom and burn one. And then I'm going to fire <laughs> up my stream is right? what my plan is. We're getting it. We're going, it's going down, son. Not, not um, in that order. <laughs> not in that order. Not in that order. And maybe I eat some of my fried rice. We'll, we'll see oh, how so it plays out. What about you, brother? What do you got going on, Mike? <laughs> Man, I got some, uh, yeah, just going to be just, uh, I'm going to be relaxing on the weekends like I usually do, but then at the beginning of the week, I'm going to be doing some uh, streaming uh, with some more Tales of Arise. Then, you know what's funny? I'm actually going to be talking to uh, Zordon, the original oh. Zordon from no Final way. Fire Rangers. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's so awesome. we're going to be doing that yeah, next week, awesome. so that's going to be freaking awesome. I can't wait to look at that. I just want to talk to it. It's like, it's like, why, it's like, so why did you want, how did it feel being a human head? <laughs> you right? know, just like, <laughs> You know, this is a shaky wow. glass. So, looking forward to that one. Uh, so, we're gonna see how that how that uh, interview is gonna be on uh, Pop Culture Gems. Uh, yeah, so, we're, that's we're. gonna be, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. Uh, but how, how about you, Don? What do you have? Uh, what are your plans, man? Well, man, I'm not what really we- trying to do a lot of work, so I'm applying for a job at HR at Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> The mom is gonna get you. It's like, uh, it's like, <laughs> how many, how many active lawsuits do you have That's on the you? Guy, <laughs> <laughs> this guy no, like mean, that. works, works. My work is busy. I'm not doing shit. You can't find me on the internet. You can't find me in the streets. I'm chained to a desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the story of everyone's yeah. lives when they're an adult, man. But uh, Don, thank you so much for stopping by, man. I really appreciate it. It was really fun talking to you. Yeah, uh, it was my pleasure, with man. You. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, it was awesome. We can definitely do this again sometime. So, uh, but guys, uh, also, guys, thank you for being a part of the conversation as always in episode number 112 of the CFG Gamecast. We will be back again next Friday night at the same time, hopefully a little bit earlier because uh, we were having some issues <laughs> setting up tonight, but uh, that's okay. Uh, this time it wasn't Smitty's fault, though. I will, I will, mm-hmm. I'll be, I'll be man enough to say it. It's not Smitty's fault. So then, uh, definitely, <laughs> Who, whose fault was it, Davies? It was, yeah, it basically, was he said it's Don's fault. Basically, he said, <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot of insinuation that it was my fault there. <laughs> oh, Did you see Next to me, yeah, it's the word. Yeah. Yeah, it's the word you don't say that means something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly. the one that really comes where, where it comes into fruition. But uh, guys, uh, but uh, be sure though, uh, if you did, if you missed our episode this time, that's okay. You can always check us out on. Mo- we will uh, release it on Monday as always on all podcast services. So we are on uh, Apple, Google Podcast, Stitcher Radio. So on all basically all formats. So there is no excuse to not listen to our sexy, sexy voices. Ooh. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be back again uh, next week, but also bef- uh, before we go, just to be sure, we are doing our PS5 giveaway uh, for charity. So if you're wanting to put in twenty dollars for the raffle, exclamation point PS5, uh, it does uh, all the money goes to the Phoenix Children's Hospital, and you have a chance to win an awesome uh, PlayStation, brand new PlayStation Five. So, so guys, thank you again. I like to uh, 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 say uh, thanks, Don, for being on the show as always, and uh, but this is. Davis, Lex, and Smitty signing off. Y'all, take it easy. Bye.